Hi everyone, Chris here. In this video let me show you two ways how you can use an Apple Pencil and an iPad to write in your videos. The first technique is to blur out your talking head video to the background and then write or draw on top of it. After you have finished your illustration you can reverse the blur effect and come back to continue with your video. The second technique is to add annotations over an already existing presentation to draw attention to certain parts of the slide or add illustrations on the fly. For both of these techniques I will use Apple Keynote which is the presentation app that comes for free when you purchase an iPad. Ok, now let's switch to the iPad. First let's open Keynote. And for the first technique we will need a black background to draw on. So let's create a new presentation, choose a theme. And as you can see Apple provides us with a lot of different themes. Let's select the black theme in the basic category. And then let's get rid of these text boxes by tapping on them and pressing delete. And now let's switch to full screen by this gesture, like that. And then you can tap here on the bottom to get the toolbar. Before we start drawing, we need to start the screen recording. Just swipe down here in the top corner and press this icon with the circles to start the recording. You see a countdown and it turns to red. And you can also see here at the top that there is a red icon indicating that we are recording now. So now let's choose the pen and I will put it to the maximum setting and no opacity and choose the white color. And now I can start to draw something. like that. I also can use different colors like red for example. And when I have finished my drawing I can stop the recording and it will become available in the Photos app. So if I switch to the Photos app now I can see under videos the recording we just grabbed. And if I go inside you will see the, the steps I took to transfer the screen recording to the laptop to use it in the video editor. Just press the share button and then select your device and drop it via AirDrop. This will take a little while because it's a video file but then you can continue on your laptop. Ok, send. Now let's switch to the laptop. Here I am on my Mac and I will use Final Cut Pro to edit the video. First let's create a new library. Therefore go on File, New, Library. I will call my library Apple Pencil Tutorial. Then let's right click on the event to create a new project. I will give the project the same name as the library. Next let's import the talking head video and the iPad screen recording. Then select the talking head video and place it on your project timeline. Now find the part where you started the drawing and press M to place a marker. Next drag the iPad screen recording on top of your talking head video. Find the part where you started the drawing in the iPad screen recording and press M to place a marker. Now you can use the snapping feature to align the markers. 
you can toggle the snapping here on the right side. Next, let's crop the screen recording so that we only see the black background. Ok, like that. Now let's transform the screen recording to make it bigger. Ok, that looks good. Then select the screen recording and hit Command B to cut the part before the drawing. Do the same to cut the end. Now we are just left with the drawing itself. To make the black background transparent, set the blend mode to add. As you can see, the drawing doesn't stand out very well on the light background. So let's add a black generator below the drawing. Click on this icon at the top and then select Solids under Generators and drag the custom generator below the screen recording. Now we have a black background again, but this time we can control its opacity without affecting the drawing. Let's set the opacity to 80%. Let's have a look. That looks already better, but I think we can improve it by blurring the background. Let's go to the Effects browser and drag the Gaussian Blur effect on top of our Talking Head video. This will affect our entire Talking Head video, so we have to add keyframes to control the blur. Therefore, select the Talking Head video and place the playhead where the drawing starts. There we will add our first keyframe. Now let's move the playhead to the position where we want to start the blur. Select the talking head video and place the second keyframe. Here let's set the amount of blur to zero. Now you can see the blur fade in. Then find the end of the drawing and reverse the blur effect on the talking head video. Again add two keyframes and then decrease the blur. Ok, but there is still a problem with the black background that appears suddenly. I also want to fade in the background. So let's find the keyframe where we start the blur and place a marker there. Then we can drag and snap the background to this new marker. Then place the playhead where the drawing starts and select the generator clip. Then click on this little diamond to place a keyframe on opacity. Next place the playhead where the generator starts Add another keyframe and set the opacity to zero. Let's see. Yes, now the blur and the black background fade in at the same time. Ok, so now we have to do the same in reverse at the end of the clip. Place the playhead at the keyframe where the blur ends. Then drag out the generator to the position of the playhead. Set a keyframe to the end of the generator. And set another keyframe where the drawing ends. Now go to the keyframe at the end of the generator clip and set the opacity to zero. So now when we finish the drawing, the talking head video should fade in again. So now let's see the entire sequence. And choose the white color. And now I can start to draw something. Like that. 
I also can use different colors like red for example and when I have finished my drawing I can stop the recording and now let me show you the second technique where we will add annotations over an existing presentation. So let's open Keynote again. Go to presentations and here I have a presentation and now we will play the presentation. As you can see it goes full screen and now I can add over the presentation. I can use a laser pointer like this to just highlight um, directly without painting or I can press any of these colors to add an illustration directly here to the video and draw attention to a certain part like don't forget to subscribe it's very important <laughs> and of course you should also click the bell icon which looks like this and to make your presentation even more interesting you can add your talking head video to the corner of the slide and uh, talk while you're drawing okay these were the two techniques I wanted to show you if you like the video please leave me a like for more videos like this subscribe and I see you in the next one bye bye